Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a foundation review. Finally, I haven't done one in ages. I don't know why, I ask myself sometimes, but I just don't know why. I used to do so many foundation reviews, but then, I don't know, I think I got to a point where I just had too many and I tried to get through them, and then I stopped buying them, but nevertheless, I love doing foundation reviews. I get so excited about foundations, it's just crazy. So today's foundation is going to be on the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. Um, on the bottle it says full cover and oil free shine control. So in this foundation you get 30ml, it's got SPF 15, it has a pump and it says it's got full coverage and it's oil free shine control. So I'm going to be just putting this on my face and trying it on for you guys. I saw Jackie Aina try it out and it looked pretty good in my opinion, like it looked really nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to try this out. Um, Bobbi Brown in general have quite pre like pretty good products. Some products don't work on my skin, like sometimes, you know the pot concealer, that stuff don't work under my eyes, like it creases like crazy. Um, some of the foundations don't work for me, but I'm really excited to try this because I'm more, I've been more into matte foundations recently because of the Fenty Beauty foundation. I just feel like it makes my skin look really like flawless. So I, I'm really excited to try this one um, on. I've got the shade Warm Honey, which is 5.5. I'm going to do one side with a brush. I'm not going to use colour corrector as well because lately I haven't been using much colour corrector either. So I'm going to do one side with a brush and one side with a sponge. So that's one pump. Just so you guys can get an idea of the colour. What do you guys think of the new background? I think I need to put light behind me, but I'm liking the grey. So I'm going to be using the NYX number no. 3 brush. I was recently sent their brushes, which was really kind of them. And they feel so soft. Like, I can't believe these are, like, drugstore brushes. You can't get them in the set, um, but you can buy them individually. But anyways, I'm going to put this foundation on my face. It's already kind of, like, settled on my hand. It smells really good though. By the way, I have moisturised and everything already. I feel like you have to work pretty quick with the foundation. The colour's really good. Almost feels kind of sticky. This is really weird. Okay, so it definitely feels really sticky in my opinion. Like it feels sticky on my face, like my brush is sticking to it. But it did even out my skin and it smells really nice. Let's try the other side with a sponge. So when I use my beauty blender, I just dot it everywhere. And just blend it with my damp beauty blender. It really evened out. I do have to say, like, it evens out your skin tone really nice. So just to let you know, I do have dry, combination dry skin. Because sometimes I can get a bit oily here on my forehead and everything. Like, a little bit, not, like, overly oily. But, yeah, I do tend to get a bit oily. But I have really dry skin sometimes. Also, I will write a list of um, shades of foundations that I use in like different brands. I'll leave a little um, list in my info box because I do get a lot of questions of like what's my MAC shade and what is my NAR shade, what is my Tarte shade, you know, so I'm just going to leave that in the info box so you guys can have that as a reference. To me, it does look a little bit dull, like when I use my Fenty Beauty because it's so warm, like it just looks really nice around my mouth area, but with this one I can, I can see can see some dullness it's just really dull here and here this is what the foundation looks like upon application it definitely evened out and it, it looks really like glowy still like i really like the way it looks and i really like both ways with the brush actually to be honest i prefer with the sponge because with my brush i just felt like it was dragging I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. I'm now back and I've done a little bit of like highlights. I did a little Instagram tutorial, but 
I do have to say though, oh, I also did a bit of overlining, you know, I kind of like it, but you know, it's a bit obvious, but it's okay, don't worry, you know, my face and my rules, shout out to Sleek. <laughs> the foundation, I have to say, I'm kind of disappointed because it feels so heavy, like, I feel like I have a tin of paint on my face, and I've never felt like this, even with the Huda Beauty foundation, I did not feel like this, like, it feels so sticky. And I don't even want to put powder on it because it's sticky but then it's not transferring. It's just so confusing. And also, when I applied it, it did look really dewy even though like I put my my moisturiser like hours ago and it, they were very light moisturisers. I didn't put anything oily. So it still had this dewiness to it so I don't see how that's going to help people with oily skin and how that's going to help oil control. Um, I know there's this thing where if you give your skin more oil your skin will tell itself, oh, there's oil, I'm going to produce less of it. But, I don't know, it, it, it just looked really shiny. Like, But now it doesn't. It's just weird. I mean, it has settled. Obviously, that's my highlight and everything. I haven't set it in with, with anything, really. I do have to say that I'm really, really, really not liking the smile lines. The benefits for example would be that it gave like really good coverage and um, evened out my skin tone it didn't dry me out and um, it smells really nice and it did kind of mattify a little bit but then the cons are it's sticky it, it feels super heavy it literally feels like i've got a shit ton of makeup on my face like i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> and i put the amount that i usually wear like i didn't put a lot like you can't say I put a lot because that's the amount I put with every foundation. Why would I put more one foundation compared to another? And it's giving me smile lines straight off the bat. This is why I didn't get along with for Bobbi foundations. I've tried like three of them. I've tried three of them in the past and they all gave me smile lines. And this one's giving me smile lines. So I don't know how I feel about I feel like I will get a better idea while I wear this through the day. It's now 3 o'clock. Um, I would say I've been wearing it since 2.30. Let's add 30 minutes because I did do my makeup. Um, I'm going to wear it for a few more hours and then just give my thoughts on it. But so far I'm just like 50-50 on it. Like I like the way it looks but then I'm not liking the smile lines and I'm not liking the way it feels on my face. And I can't believe I have to wear this like for hours now. I just want to wash my face. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I will be back later on and we'll see how it looks then. Right guys, there could be some noise in the background because my mum's on the phone. I do apologise, but it's the end of the day. I can't help it. This is what the foundation looks like almost six hours later. It's now 8.45, so literally six hours. I mean, it actually doesn't look that bad, to be honest. Earlier on, I was just like, I hate it. I was telling my sister, like, it looks so cakey. But the only really big downside to me is that the amount of smile lines it's giving me. But overall, it looks flawless. I just don't like the way it sits around my mouth area. But it stayed matte. It's apart from, it did get a little bit oily, but nothing that I'm too mad at, to be honest. I used to be oilier than this when I used to drench myself in highlighter and setting spray. Um, so this is quite good, to be honest. Um, I just love how like my cheeks look smooth. It's just that, I'll do a close up for you guys, but it's just like around my mouth that I really don't like. My nose is a little bit textured. And my forehead's a little bit oily. But other than that, I think it's okay. Would I wear it again? I probably will, but not to like special occasions and stuff. Like this is just like an everyday foundation. I'll probably try and work with it, use a color corrector underneath around my mouth area and see how that helps. And also set powder because I didn't really set it with any powder or like do a bit of baking around my mouth. So I just need to try that. Oh, it looks good. It has faded around my mouth, my nose, sorry, the tip of my nose. Just ignore my awfully or overlined lips, but I kind of like it, but it's just faded out. That's what it looks like. I'm not mad at it. Six hours later. I do have the worst headache right now. So I'm going to head off guys. I think that's all I have to say. I probably rate this foundation an 8 out of 10. Because the smile line issue is a big issue for me. To be honest. But I do have to give a big shout out to Bobby Brown. For their amazing shade range. So you know have to give some points for that but yeah thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and i will try to get my hands on the nars foundation um i will not be getting the tarte foundation 
what's the point if they don't have my color thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you next time bye